Welcome. Hi, I'm Rachel. I have hamsters, and I hope you enjoyed that little clip from Dexter. That is Dexter eating a pea. Uh, he wanted me to record that for you guys and just share that out because it's pretty adorable. <laughs> anyway, um, this is going to be a wheel review for the Night Angel Super Silent Wheel, and right now we are watching one of my robos, Oscar, who has since passed away, but this is my robo Oscar. He was 63 grams at his height, a big, big boy, especially for a robo, and he is running on the Night Angel super silent wheel size large the 12 inch so I wanted to do a review of this wheel because this is one of my top watched videos on YouTube I have a wheel review for this that is very old I did it maybe a few months into having a hamster and um, I hadn't really experienced that many wheels and at the time there really weren't that many great wheels on the market um, the only other really competitive wheel I felt at the time was the exotic nutrition uh, silent runner and then night angel hit the scene in 2020 with uh, the super silent wheel this was one of their first um, one of their early products and um, a product i still very much stand by i own god i don't know how many wheels i own a lot um, a lot of these wheels in particular i have several in the small size size eight i have um i think one in the size 10 inch which is the medium i have two in the size 12 inch the one shown here and then I, I don't have any in the extra large, which is the 14 inch. That is a wheel I would recommend for a Syrian hamster, but I actually only have Robos and dwarf hamsters, so I don't really need a 14 inch wheel, but you might. And uh, when people get a hamster and ask me what is a great wheel to start with, I always say the Night Angel Super Silent Wheel. If you're looking for a wheel that's super quiet, it's going to stand the test of time. I mean, I have used these wheels with so many hamsters and they last. If you take care of this wheel, it will take care of you, I promise. Um, and it really meets all the needs of a good wheel. So when we talk about good wheels, we need to think about wheel safety. Wheel safety is really important because old style wheels were not very safe for hamsters. Any of those wheels with bars or grid that, those are horrible for hamsters. Hamsters are very delicate little feet and legs, and uh, when they fall through those bars, they can easily break a foot. Um, and for a hamster, that might be a life-ending injury. So uh, you want to be careful with wheels. You want to give them a wheel that has a nice, flat, wide running base. You want it to be really smooth because hamsters can run five to 10 miles a night. Like that's quite a lot. When you think about the amount that they're running on this wheel, it's it's in their best interest and your best interest that it's a really well-functioning wheel. So you can see here how smooth it is when I when I spin it. I mean, right now it's going so fast you can hardly see it. It is so smooth, so quiet. It's an amazing wheel and, um, and really easy to take care of. One of the things I love about it is it has a really nice, heavy base. So when you put it in a cage, it's not gonna tip over on you. Um, you do want to be careful. Some hamsters do like to try to burrow under their wheels. And this is why I like to keep my wheels up on a platform. And uh, and then I raise them up. You can see the uh, wheel base is actually adjustable in height. So for most of my hamsters, I keep it about an inch above the base. And that allows my hamsters to go underneath that base. A lot of them like to just hang out under there and sleep or eat a snack. And then they can also get inside the wheel base very easily. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this wheel apart and adjust the height. Uh, so if you unscrew that back piece there, you can lift it all the way up or go all the way down. If you go all the way up, the height is about four and a half inches. So if you wanted to put this wheel on the bottom of your enclosure and then have bedding, you can do that and you can have four and a half inches of bedding and then your hamster can hop right into the wheel. Again, I prefer not to do this because I find my hamsters tend to burrow and move their bedding around. So I find when I do this, my hamsters sometimes leave too big of a gap and then they can't get on their wheel <laughs> or they put a lot of bedding in the wheel and make it unusable. So I think the best way to keep your wheel functional for your hamster is to put it on a flat surface like a platform. Night Angel and Bukastap both sell platforms or you can make them. Uh, it's a great way to make sure that your hamsters can use their wheel and they stay clean and it's really easy to pop that wheel out and give it a wash and then put it back if it's on a platform. So one thing you might notice about this wheel is it does have tiny traction lines on the inside. There are a few different styles to the wheels out there and Night Angel included. Night Angel has this wheel which has the little traction lines. They also have acrylic wheels that are a totally smooth running surface without any traction lines and they have cork lined wheels. 
this is my little test subject here. <laughs> she's there to show you about the size of the wheel and she's about the size of like a big hybrid dwarf hamster. So this wheel can be totally taken off the base, which you might want to do if you have this wheel in the bedding in your enclosure. This is great if you wanna just wash the wheel, but don't wanna uproot all of your hamsters burrows and all that good stuff that will actually make them quite upset. Uh, it's also good if you really just want to deeply clean that part only. In general, when I wash my wheels, I actually don't take them apart, but this is how you could take it apart. You just want to be careful that you don't lose those little pieces there. There are two washers and one screw. So when you put it back on the base, you're actually going to put one washer there, and then you're going to place it on the base and then you're gonna put the other washer, and then you can go ahead and screw that on. So pretty simple if you take it apart, or if you want to adjust the height, you just unscrew and screw that to your liking. Um, but like I said, I typically keep my wheels on a platform in the enclosure, and uh, I keep the base about, or the wheel about an inch above the base. And when you wash, you wanna make sure you don't get that metal piece wet. That's where the bearings are. So I'm going to show you how I wash my wheels and uh, that's the big thing. Just keep those parts away from water and you'll be good. This wheel will last you. I've had the same wheels for many years now. I've actually bought secondhand Night Angel wheels off of Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace as well and they have also worked great. So this is a wheel that if you are looking for a budget, you can get it on Facebook Marketplace, maybe. Um, definitely check out your local listings if you are in need of a good wheel but don't really have the budget for it. So this is how I wash my wheels. First, I extend them up so I can really get in the wheel and also on the base. If you have a hamster already, you know that hamsters love to pee on their wheels and they love to hang out underneath their wheels, uh, so you really wanna give those a good wash. What I do initially is I just kind of run water on the running track and on the base and just rinse it off. Get all of that urine out of there, those little seed casings, any little poops that might be stuck to the wheel. Just go ahead and give that a good rinse. And as you can see, I just keep it at a slight angle and this helps me avoid getting any water on that metal part that's in the back of the wheel. So again, keep that water free. <laughs> I do have a sponge that I use just for my hamsters. I keep that separate, and when I'm done using it, I just stick it in the microwave for a minute. This keeps it nice and sanitary. Um, you can also put it in your dishwasher if you have a dishwasher. Um, but yeah, I don't use the same wa the same sponge for my things as I use for my hamsters, just in case you were wondering. Give that a little bit of a wash. Great. And then I'm gonna wash underneath because that is also a space where my hamsters like to hang out and do whatever it is they do underneath their wheels. And now I'm gonna find a nice place for it to dry. Sometimes you need to rotate the placement a few times so you'll see me do that. I'll place it upright and then sometimes I'll place it face down and that it makes sure that all the water gets off of it. In general, I have about two wheels for every hamster that I currently have. I highly recommend this because that way you can take one wheel out and wash it while you have another wheel in the cage. Um, this way there's no pressure to wash it and quickly get it back in. Um, sometimes it takes a while for all the pieces to dry and it just is more stress-free. I also recommend having at least a few wheels around of different types for your hamster. Depending on what they're going through, their age, their size, like how old they are, I guess that's another way of saying their age, but you know, when they're young, they might be very small and they might get bigger in their height and then they might get smaller as they get older. You might need a different type of wheel, a different size wheel. So I highly recommend all the wheels from Night Angel and I recommend that you keep a few on hand. If you have a robo like Steven here, uh, this is Steven, my Roborowski hamster. He was about 40 grams at his height and he's hanging out on an eight inch super silent wheel from Night Angel. Um, he used anywhere from the eight inch to the 12 inch. And for Robos, they can really use any of those size wheels. Depending on the size of the Robo, I'd recommend a different size wheel. So for Steven, he was 40 grams. He mostly used a size medium 10 inch or a size large 12 inch. For my smaller Robos who are 20, 25 grams, they typically use a size eight inch or a 10 inch. So the small or a medium. And if you have a really big robo like Oscar, who I showed in the beginning of this video, he used exclusively a 12-inch wheel, and he was 60 grams, so it made sense. He was a big guy, he used a big wheel. 
So depending on your hamster, there is no one one answer to fit all hamsters. So when someone says, what size should I get for a robo? I wouldn't necessarily say an eight inch or a 10 inch or 12 inch. It depends on your hamster and it depends on their size. It also depends on their habits. Some hamsters really like this open wheel. Some hamsters pee a lot in their wheels. So this kind of open style is great, very easy to clean. If you have a hamster who's maybe more shy, you might want to try the Night Angel Dark Clouds wheel. That's an enclosed wheel. It also has a cork lining if you'd like, and that is great because it's nice and soft for their paws. So as I started to say earlier in this video, this wheel has little traction lines, which can be great for robos because robos tend to not have as strong traction, I find. They don't do as well on totally smooth running surfaces like the acrylic wheels um, from Bukastat or Night Angel. Those wheels I find they tend to have a little more issue with. So the little traction lines are really helpful for them, but sometimes they can cause bumblefoot. So Steven here, in his older age, when he was about a year and a half old, he started to get little pink scabs on his feet that I noticed when I picked him up in a clear cup to do a health check. I brought him to the doctor and we got some medication for his little feet. And then I switched him to a cork lined wheel and that's the type of wheel he used until he died. Um, and that solved the issue. So as I said, there is no one wheel that fits all, but if you are new to the hamstering world, you just got a hamster, the Night Angel Super Silent Wheel is a great wheel to start with. It's a great investment. Um, it might not be the cheapest option for you, but I guarantee that you will use it again and again, especially if you plan on having more than one hamster in your life, which if you are new to the hamster world, if you treat your hamsters well, I guarantee you, you're gonna fall in love with them and you're gonna want more hamsters. <laughs> um, I mean, I would think. <laughs> Um, so I think it's a great wheel to have around, even if you're not actively using it, you will in the future. So highly recommend. This is Sophia. She was a small robo. She was about 20 to 25 grams and she is on the night angel size medium. So this is the 10 inch wheel. You can see she's having a little more trouble controlling this wheel. She's kind of moving around a lot in it. Um, she typically ran on a size eight inch. So she could totally use a 10 inch, but I, I felt that she did better on an eight. This is great evidence that when you have a hamster, again, you, you just kind of have to watch them and observe them and figure out what works for them. Um, for pretty much any hamster, bigger is better. There is no size that is like dangerous for them, but some hamsters like very small little robos might do better on a size eight inch. They also might not. Steven, for instance, uh, I mean, he did get better, but but on smaller wheels, he tended to kind of go crazy and flip off and, and dramatically fly across his cage. So he ended up getting switched to a bigger 12 inch, a minimum 10 inch, but typically a 12 inch wheel. And that really helped him uh, stay in control on the wheel. For Sophia, she never really had that problem. She never flipped off of her wheels. So a size eight inch worked fine for her. So like I said, there's no one size that fits all. And uh, if you have robos or dwarfs, you might want to have one of each size. And again, like I said earlier, you can always check Facebook Marketplace. Um, there are lots of Facebook rehoming groups um, where people sometimes sell supplies there as well. And uh, if you have more questions about wheels, um, I have a website with a page all about wheels and my highly recommended wheels. I will put a link to down below. Uh, and if you are a hamster owner and you have a favorite wheel, I would love to hear from you. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite wheel is, what size you use for your hamster. Um, I think as we've come along in hamster care, one thing I'm finding is that for even small hamsters, the recommendation is getting larger and larger. Uh, when I first got a robo, the recommendation was six and a half inches. And I found out the hard way that that does not work for robos. Do not give a robo a six and a half inch wheel. They will flip off of it. It just doesn't work. Robos are extreme runners. They run fast. They want to run all night long. It's important that you give them a really good smooth wheel because they're running five to ten miles a night on this wheel it's it's pretty impressive so uh, giving your hamster a really good wheel if you can't afford a big fancy cage if you can't afford everything I understand it takes time to build up that great hamster cage but if you're gonna invest in something I highly recommend you invest in a really good wheel because that will pay off your hamster will have a healthier happier life if it has a really good wheel and you're going to have a better relationship with your hamster if you give it high quality good products that make them happy and stress-free 
So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions, leave me a comment below. You can also email me at rachelgothamsters at gmail.com. I'm always open to your emails. Um, and please check out my website. It's rachelgothamsters.com. Uh, so I hope you all are having a wonderful hamster week, and I hope to see you in my next video. As always, if you can like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who you think would love it, that would be really helpful to me in sharing the hamster love and uh, sharing good hamster information. All right, thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.